Ghost when you need it. Dicey. Even found herself approaching the edge of Vorburg, or rather, the silent remains of that once glorious city. The Queen had torn it to pieces during the war, years ago, in her mad search for... something. The only trace of it at all were the ruined and lifeless stones, shrouded in fog, lost to memory. To even, it was like an impossible vision. Something she could scarcely believe. A rebuilt fort town, squatting by the ruins of what came before. A city without history. But who called it home? Hey, what the? Oh, you cheated me! Prove it! 
Ain't no laws in Forberg, kid. Come on, come on, come on. But you're what cheating! You got, you got? Got? Someone told me four must stand on the wheel, guys. <laughs> yeah, right. Ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else, Forbergers and foreigners, I present to you for the first time on the casino main stage, a real Destruction will it unleash upon these fighting grounds? What rules and norms will it tear asunder as its true power is finally unleashed? There's only one way to find out. <laughs> when I roll them bones! Oh, why isn't it doing anything? Come on, give it a kick! <laughs> Worthless! Dicey! I'm not leaving here without you, Dicey. Leave him alone. This dice is under my protection. Ah, what a fine job you've been doing of it too. But I am always up for a gamble. Gentlemen, the death match is about to begin. Place your bets on the victor. Put the smart money. Challenge, you're a joke! Why do strangers keep fighting me?
Ladies and gentlemen, it appears that this wasn't even a dice after all. What we have here is just a broken old Jack in the Box. <laughs> He's mine. Give him back. You want this garbage back? Yes, and he's not garbage. Well, go get it. <laughs> Dicey! Oh, and look, that's precisely the bed I made on myself. Dicey! Oh no! No, no, no! <gasps> Dicey! Oh, Dicey! I was so scared! I'm sorry, I'm so sorry! I didn't mean to get you hurt. I should have never put you in danger. We don't belong here and I just... I just want to go home. Did someone say, smuggle me home? Because you, little lady, are in the presence of Ludo Betts, the greatest person smuggler in all of random. Y you trust me, right? I could ask you the same thing. Let's just say I'm old enough to be great at it and young enough that nobody suspects me. You see, I've got my bag. Top of the line, nothing so fine, purely benign. It's bigger on the inside. Me and my brother can fit anyone inside. Oh, I'm sorry, I mean I can. My brother, Bruno, I lost him to the high roller, who I'm betting you know. We gambled, we lost, and now he owns him. And you... Well, you've got yourself a real dice, which means you have a real chance to free Bruno. Do that, and I'll be real motivated to do you a favour in turn. Because you don't have enough pips. Any fool can see that. Look, the high roller seems all high and mighty, but he's got a weakness. It's in his name. Roll a higher number than his and he'll lose everything. You just gotta fix your dice up. And you're gonna let that stand? Take revenge. Show him who's boss. Solve both our problems in one fell swoop. Fix your dice and beat the high roller. Then you'll save Bruno and I swear on my eyes that I'll let you inside my bag. And me and my brother will take you anywhere you want. Anywhere. Even had no idea where she could find more darts for her dice. So she fell back to exploring. It had gotten her this far at least, which if we're being precise, is to a point where she no longer wanted to explore. Hmm. Uh, look, uh, life's complicated sometimes. Well, I came hey, from one town village welcome. with my family along with me. And I got trapped here in Forberg Square, no hope for me to see. Look, Four Town may have its problems, but it's better than where I came from. Look, Four Town may have its problems, but it's better than where I came from. It, um, it is better, right? Heard any good ghost stories lately? Well, hey, Maddie Dex here, card enthusiast at Living Store at your service. I 
think there's some people here who don't care about that, Dicey. I think there's some people here who don't care about anything. You dealt a bad hand, have you? Ah, oh, never mind. Trade it in for a new one with me, old Manny Dick. You ever seen a ghost, kid? Perfect, perfect. I collect ghost stories, you know. Kind of the premier ghost story collector around here. Kind of the only one, too. So, tell me the story of this ghost. Chilling! Oh, what happened to the ghost? Why did it disappear? Who was it? Who am I? What are we all even doing here? <laughs> I love it. Oi, listen. You come across any other spooky stories, you let me know. Or if I had three new stories, oh, I'd have enough material for a new ghost tour. Mm. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Ancient spirits that come out of your head to fight in battles? Right. <laughs> Not bad, little fella, but come on! I want real ghost stories, not fantasies. Oh, I can pay, too. I'll pay a child for ghost stories. Don't even act like I won't. I've got a card up my sleeve, in my chest, up my nose, up me... Well, everywhere. You can't just stand here. Don't you know there's a war going on? Here, in Vorburg, the Queen's tearing it to pieces. Heh. <laughs> You're an agent for the Queen, aren't you? Well, you won't get any intel out of me. Now scram!
back again, huh? Oh, I have. My friend Pooza. She got in the way of the Queen's search back at the start of the war. Oh, I don't know what she was looking for, but she was like a woman possessed. Pooza didn't do nothing but be in the wrong place at the wrong time, and that was it. Dunzo. Still hear her wails at night sometime. Hear her in the night, I do. Wailing, but not in pain, but confusion. Like she doesn't know she's dead, but can't figure out why she's not living anymore. Only ever heard her say words once. Got a glimpse of herself in the water. I don't deserve to be hated, she whispered. Clear as day. Then she went back to wailing. Ain't no time for apologies. Not when there's a war going on. Uh, now run along, kid, uh, before you catch a bullet. Heard any good ghost stories lately? Oh, war. The source of many, many ghosts. Both dead and living. Oh, I smell tragedy. A thing I've learned sometimes even more memorable than even the finest victory. What else is it about? Oh, sounds sad and unfair and very, very spooky. Oh, I'm not going to get any sleep tonight. Thank you, kid. Heard any good ghost stories lately? Oh, listen. I've got... <laughs> Welcome to Forburg. You've got to go where the business is, and I figure that old Foreman will buy from me someday. Hey, mate, why so glum? We found each other, and now we can talk and trade cards. Life doesn't get any better than this, you know. See? Now I know there's something wrong. Now listen, mate. I know things get bleak sometimes. Truth is, this was my hometown once. Born and raised here. I left way back before the town got ruined by uh, you know who. And it's, it's weird to be back. Nothing ever stays the same. You turn your back for one moment and, well, you can look around to see what happens. But things get better, right? They have to. Otherwise, they just stay like this, mate, and I don't know how to handle that. Oh, anyway, enough about me feeling sad. You know what I'd rather feel? I'd rather feel cards in my hands as we trade them, eh? Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> you took the words right out of me cabinet.
night last night. You got me there, bud. Boss only accepts challengers into his arena who roll high like he can. And between you and me, <laughs> I don't think we're gonna see another four roller in our lifetime. Show me your... What is this? This isn't a four. That's a guaranteed loss, kid. Oh, now get out of here. It's for your own good. Huh. I've never been to the Soothsayer District. People disappear in there. They mess with powers they shouldn't. Kazu! I won again? <laughs> Talk about beginner's luck. Seymour, what are you doing here? Hey, even! <laughs> Sorry, guys, uh, I got a bounce. <laughs> My friend, it's good to see you. <laughs> Made it to Forberg, huh? Hey, how goes the brave quest? I'm... I'm heading home, Seymour. But I don't see your sister with you. She's... Uh, I, I don't know what I'm doing anymore, Seymour. I'm, st I'm starting to think I don't even know who Odd is. Maybe I never did. Maybe it was a mistake to look up to her, to anyone. We all just... We all disappoint other people, don't we? And here I am disappointing you. Hmm. Alright, so you want to go home. Let's start there. You certain about this? That just tells you you're alive. Life's a roll of the dice, right? It's okay to want to go home. It's okay to feel lost or be lost and to just take things one step at a time. Do you know your way back? I will say this. For a woman who seems so disheartened and pessimistic, you've certainly had a lot of success meeting people and securing passage. <laughs> Thank the dice makers for their foresight for that, then. Uh, I'd bring you myself, if I could. I'm, uh, kinda lost myself. <laughs> that does sound like a possibility. Let me guess. You need to get his brother back from the high roller. Yeah? And the high roller only ever rolls fours. So if you could roll a five. Of course, pass the little guy over. So we just add in the dots he had in two town. And now the extra dots you found back in three dumb. And... <laughs> Meet your new improved, more repaired dicey. Now you can roll up to hey, oh, mm, hey, mm, oh, um, four, which is still not enough to beat the high roller. Sorry, even. Well, I know where you could find some more dots, but uh, forget I said anything. Uh, it's dangerous. Whoa, is that a threat? I mean, it probably gets you results, but still rude. I mean, <laughs> there's no guarantee of success. Fine, fine. Just don't tell her I'm the one who sent you. Even go to the soothsayer tents and ask about Uma. Very discreetly it's not a name you'd throw around just anywhere and good luck i'm rooting for you <clears throat> don't get eaten the bag brother yeah he was a little shifty but it's not like we have a lot of options dicey look do you have a better idea <sighs> i'm sorry dicey this town having an effect on me. 
Look, let's... let's do what we can.
I hate gaming. That's right. I said it. I hate gaming. <sighs> You want to hear the saddest story in the world? Okay, so there's this baby. No, you're telling it wrong. It's not just a baby. It's a duck baby. A duck baby. And the duck baby gets stuck in a hole and gets turned into a spider. And then he dies. Ducks eat spiders. So now he's going to be duck dinner. That's why he's sad. Okay, well, he doesn't know if ducks do or not, so that makes him even sadder still. Yeah, my brother told me this story, and he cried. Then my friend told the story, and I cried. Now we're telling you the story, and you're gonna cry. Okay, you better, or the zombie duck will come for you. There, there. All hope ain't lost. Shh! Someone's here. Good. She'll help. It's a boy. Bye bye there. I say. I do so. Bye guy. I say there. Bye bye there. Speculating. I can conquer there. Near the boy, eh? Near the boy, eh? They told that I fantastic the ball. Never again, she says. Hello, they think the ball. Where the average amount into it. Wagering on what the future holds. Wagering on gains, on life, on everything. Mo party panky. Oi, my danky. Not too little. Oi, oh, the boy died there. Guys are. Same as everyone else. Yeah, that's right. You're an innocent kid. She'll listen to you. boy. With a card. For speculation. Why died it? Thank you, kid. It's too good, really. Stay for painted. It's like you here. And all the fire back. It's story the bar. Trying to make an honest living. Oh, four guys there. Honestly depressing. worth it, but <laughs> it's too late now. You don't look like you're from around here. Good eye. I'm from... I came here to escape having to work on the upside down. Not sure if it was worth it, but <laughs> it's too late now. Say what? Say what now? I can't believe this. This is terrific. Finally, some good news in this loathsome ruin of a city crouching beside- That's right! I never acclimatized to Fortown! And Loud One is here to sell- I'm gonna head back tomorrow! Here! See you around, kiddo! Kids! I get paid. And my family all just out the left. Oh, I get
Heard any good ghost stories lately? Go on. Children are both more likely to see a ghost and more likely to be... Ah, uh, I, uh, hmm. Oh, I see. Uh, and? Did they, um, you know, die at the end and... Huh. Well, that's, uh, well, that is technically a ghost story then, and, uh, well, I, I heard any good ghost stories lately? Oh, listen. <laughs>